Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is palindromic substrings. Given a string, your task is to count how many palindromic substrings in this string. The substrings with different start i indexes and end indexes are counted as different substrings even if they consist the same characters. So here with ABC, we can see that, or actually we should look at this example here, AAA, we actually have six palindromic substrings. We have AAA -A -A in itself, we have AA -A like this, we have this AA and this AA, so that would be six. Um, so I actually have seen this problem before, and the key insight here is that we could figure out all the palindromic substrings at um, using a two-pointer solution, but starting at the middle, going inside out. So if we started like in the middle here, uh, if i and j are equal to one another, then we could decrease our i and increase our j, and then continue to see if the rest of the string is still palindromic. And we'll do that for every single uh, index number inside of our string. Uh, okay, so let's begin. Let's first initialize our output as well as the n length of s. And what we'll do is say for, we'll call it a in range of n. We're gonna check inside out if this is a palindromic substring. And if it is, then we're gonna increase our output counter by one. So while uh, we'll say i is, well, first let's set our i and j. i and j are equal to a, a. So while i is less or equal to zero and less than n, and same thing with j, and s of i is equal to s of j, then we will increase our counter or output and decrease our i and increase our j. And that would be it. And we need to do this for every single index number inside of our string. But keep in mind that because we're going inside out, we not only want to check from the middle, we also want to check from the ones next to each other. So i plus i plus one. Uh, so to do that, it'd still be the same algorithm, but we just have to run this twice. We'll say i equals j equals a, a plus one. And luckily my condition in here will take care of like the ones that fall out of bounds. So we don't need to worry about any repeats here. Finally, just return our output. Okay, let's make sure this works. Looks like that is, so let's go ahead and submit that. So there we go. Um, so as far as time complexity goes, it's gonna be n squared because we have one n and we also have this while loop, which is another n. Uh, so worst case scenario will be n squared. Um, but Likely it'll be less than that, considering that it's very unlikely that the whole thing's gonna be palindromic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here's the solution. I think hopefully this helps and I think I'll end it here. So thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.